Hi guys, it's Alicia J and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. Um, today's video is a collaboration with some other awesome YouTubers. Now this collab is hosted by Kelly from Freedom in a Budget. You all have heard me talk about Kelly before. She is so sweet, so awesome. Her channel is focused on living your life on a budget, losing weight on a budget, WW content, all of that good stuff. Um, so go check out Kelly's channel if you haven't already. And also, all of the members that are participating in this collaboration will be linked down below in my description box. So go check out all of their channels for more WW inspiration and products. I'm sure that you'll enjoy all of their content. So, without further ado, this video um, is going to be a video where I talk about my five must-have products or in my case groups of products um, on WW. I feel like it's really difficult to narrow it down to just five single products. So for a couple of these I'm actually kind of grouping some things together if that makes sense. Um, just to kind of help you. I'm kind of focusing a little bit on if you're starting WW um, because I feel like in regards to certain ways of eating, if you jump into a program like WW, you might be a little lost. And when you're starting a program like WW, it can be difficult to kind of discover the basics of some things. So I wanted to kind of use this opportunity to share some basic food products that are, have been really helpful on my journey and that I hope will help you guys as well. So let's go ahead and jump into my food products. So the first product I want to talk about are yogurts. Um, I really love these light and fit Greek yogurts. They're super delicious. They're two points, 80 calories, 12 grams of protein, seven sugars. Now, if you'll notice, yogurt is very good for you, but a lot of yogurts out on the market are just full of sugar. You guys are just so full of sugar. And that makes them high in Weight Watchers points for obvious reasons. So these are a really good option. I love having these like post-workout to get some protein in. They're very filling in my opinion, a super yummy snack. They taste delicious and they're lower in sugar. Um, as you know, plain non-fat yogurt is zero points on WW. However, I don't like the taste of it. I only use it in cooking pretty much. Um, but I love these for protein and a good snack. I find them at Walmart. You can get them at Kroger. Probably a lot of your larger like supermarkets or grocery stores, you can find those. They're not super expensive and they are delicious. The next product I wanna talk about is this Jif Whipped Peanut Butter. I love Jif Whipped Peanut Butter. It is two points for a tablespoon. It is really delicious as well. Um, let's see here. 70 calories per tablespoon. Two points, as I said, a little bit lower than regular peanut butter, and honestly, I just love this better. The texture of this is really airy and fluffy, spreads super easily on a sandwich or toast, and I love having this. A spoonful of this, or peanut butter toast, peanut butter sandwich, bagels, like, if you love peanut butter, this is a must on WW. I do not like, like, the powdered peanut butter that you mix into water. I think the texture and the taste is just too off for me. This is a perfect substitute for peanut butter that does not sacrifice any flavor. So this is really delicious and you should give it a try. You can find it at Walmart or any other large grocery stores. So the next thing I wanna talk about is kind of a category. Um, something that's really important in your journey is learning how to cook foods without adding tons of calories and points to them in the cooking process. So I'm gonna talk about three things to cook with that don't add extra points or calories. Well, one of them adds a little bit of extra points, but so the first one is cooking spray, Pam, or this is just great value. I get it at Aldi, Walmart, Kroger, wherever. Zero points, zero calories. I use this liberally. Now, some people argue that there are calories and points in it after a certain amount. I don't worry about it. I've never had a problem with it, but I use this to cook eggs, anything that you're sauteing, anything like that, I use this spray. Also, butter spray. Um, I spray this on bread for toasting. I spray it on food items when I'm cooking it. Zero points, zero calories, a good butter flavor, and it's a good alternative to butter or um, oils, things like that. So definitely these two items are a must have to keep kind of always on hand to cook with to not add lots of calories and fat to your items. Now, one more I want to talk about in regards to like butter substitutes. This Country Crock Light or the, I can't believe it's not butter light, but 
little tip. This is a lot cheaper and tastes the same. It is one point per tablespoon. I use this very often on toast, on baked potatoes, in mashed potatoes, cooking steaks. Like this is just a really good staple to have on hand. So all three of these items. This is the face of someone who's accepted their fate as a failure. Let's try that again. So all three of these items are super great to have on hand for cooking without adding tons of extra fat, points, and calories. The next thing I wanna talk about, I unfortunately do not have on hand. Gasp. Anyway, I love cereal. I like a good glass of milk. Yeah, so I do not love almond milk. Now I use almond milk in cooking, but I don't love the taste of it. Um, so I discovered the Kroger Carb Master Milk. I'll insert a picture of it. Um, so it's found at Kroger's or Kroger's sister stores. Like, I'm trying to remember what they're called. Ralph's, Fred Meyer's, Harris Teeter, is that one? I don't know, I can't remember. But you can Google it, Kroger sister stores. You might have one near you. Uh, if you don't, I'm sorry. But Kroger Carb Master Milk is delicious. For the regular milk, you can have up to 10 ounces for one point which is so awesome. It's got a lot of protein, super yummy. Reduced sugar, low fat, super good. They also have a chocolate version. You can have a cup of that for two points. Really yummy as well. Um, now, if you don't have any of those stores around you, it is a Kroger product. So if you don't have a Kroger or one of their sister stores, you won't be able to find it at like Walmart. But there is an alternative called Fairlife. Uh, I'm sure you've heard of it. You can have eight ounces of that milk for two points. So it's a little bit higher, but still a really good alternative when you're wanting to actually drink milk or have it in cereal um, and you need a better tasting milk than like nut milk. It's really good. So I will insert a picture of both of those options so you guys can see what they look like. Screenshot them if you're looking for them, but they are super delicious and awesome, awesome, awesome staples to have on hand if you're on the Freestyle program. So this is the Carb Master Milk you can find at Kroger that is one point for up to 10 ounces. This is the Fairlife Milk that you can find at somewhere like Walmart and it is two point for eight ounces. The last thing I wanna talk about, light or sugar-free, fat-free, whatever, condiments. So when you're on a weight loss journey, it's very important to pay attention to the condiments you're using. That's a great way to add a lot of calories or a lot of points to whatever you're eating. So that's one of the first things you wanna look at. Um, if you can kind of get a handle on your condiments, then it can really aid in reducing your caloric intake, you know, reducing the amount of points you're using, you know, leading to weight loss. So, some of my very favorite condiments I'm gonna show you. However, I'm really talking pretty generally. You know, if you love honey mustard, find light honey mustard. If you love ketchup, find sugar-free ketchup. If you love maple syrup, if you love mayonnaise, whatever you love, whatever condiment you love, um, find a lighter version of that to have on hand. So, some of my favorites, fat-free Cool Whip, zero points for up to four tablespoons. Light mayonnaise, I'm a freak for mayonnaise. I love mayonnaise, y'all. One point per tablespoon. Light honey mustard, one point. Sugar-free ketchup, zero points. This is the Heinz version. There's also the G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce and ketchup. I don't have any, any in my fridge right now, but they are zero points for up to four tablespoons. Light Hershey syrup, love this stuff. It is one point per tablespoon. Log Cabin Sugar-Free Maple Syrup, zero points. This is the best sugar-free maple syrup I've found. I know people say Mrs. Butterworth is good too, but I haven't tried it yet, but the Log Cabin is delicious. Fat-free Italian dressing, super yummy. And the Bold House dressings, the yogurt dressings. This is the ranch and it's really good as well. So basically, whatever you like, find a lighter version of it. That's just some of my favorites that I'm choosing to share today, but any condiment that you have, find a lighter version of it. Um, to, you don't want to feel deprived, but you also don't want to add a lot of points for something like a condiment that's really not going to fill you up that you just need to make your food taste better. So I hope my tips and my products were helpful for you guys to see today. Um, definitely don't forget to go down in my description box, click on all the other channel links and watch their videos for even more ideas. I personally cannot wait to watch all these videos and get new product ideas and new food recommendations from all of the awesome WW members here on YouTube. Um, 
thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you're coming over from one of the other channels in the collab, welcome. My name's Leisha J. Um, I'm 21 years old. I live in Kentucky and I've been on WW for a year and lost close to 60 pounds. Um, so welcome to my channel. Welcome to my journey. I would love it if you would subscribe and stick around for future videos. I would absolutely love to have you. If you're new to my channel, coming over from the collab, please say hello. I would love to meet you. Thank you so much for watching once again. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.